The endocannabinoid system is found throughout the brains and nervous systems within all mammalian species and is the most extensive biological system of receptors in the body. Humans are born with an endocannabinoid system that serves an important function in both the development of the brain and the formation and development of synapses, the electrical connections in the brain that allow neurotransmitters to send information. Endocannabinoids and the receptors they bind to exist throughout the body, in the nervous system, glands, immune cells, organs, brain and connective tissues. The system permeates all 11 central physiological systems in the body, working to handle the many functions necessary for survival. The ECS works to balance our vital physiological functions, affecting everything from sleep, appetite, pain, inflammation, memory, mood and reproduction. How the ECS works The ECS helps to regulate homeostasis across all the physiological systems, ensuring they're all working in harmony with one another. External stress creates an increase in the stress hormone cortisol in your bloodstream, which leads to an increase in endocannabinoid production in response. The endocannabinoids increase with stress to balance cortisol production in the blood. Endocannabinoids are produced naturally inside of the body. Compounds found outside the body, like CBD and THC, are called exogenous cannabinoids. CBD and THC are phytocannabinoids, meaning they originate from plants. Exogenous cannabinoids act similarly to the endocannabinoids produced by the body itself. The ECS works in the key lock model. Cannabinoids act as the keys within the endocannabinoid system, while receptors act like locks. Every time one key fits into one lock, the lock causes an effect to occur in the body. The ECS comprises three primary components – endocannabinoids, enzymes and receptors. The two main types of endocannabinoids found in the body are anandamide and 2-AG. 2-AG is the most prevalent endocannabinoid, responsible for managing appetite, pain response and immune system functions. Anandamide is responsible for runners high and the blissful states that come from exercise and meditation. Enzymes act within the ECS to recycle used endocannabinoids after the body is through with them. Receptors receive the messages transmitted by cannabinoids, the groups of active compounds that interact with ECS receptors. There are two main types of receptors, CB1 and CB2. CB1 receptors exist in the brain and spinal cord, working to regulate appetite, memory and to reduce pain. CB2 receptors are distributed within the immune system, working primarily to reduce inflammation throughout the body. In each part of the body, the endocannabinoid system performs different tasks, but the ECS always has one goal – homeostasis. The system works to keep the body stable through the inevitable changes and variations in the external, physical and emotional environment. This unique endogenous system is the reason for the multiple therapy uses of medical cannabis.